Hello, beautiful Cancer, and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of October. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura, and I'm from babycurltarot.com. I am a tarot and oracle reader, as well as a root worker. Please keep in mind, Cancers, that this is a general collective reading, so not all messages will resonate for every single Cancer out there. If for some reason these messages do not resonate and you still would like some clarity on any situations you are experiencing at this time, I do offer personal one-on-one -on -one readings and you can link up with me through my website, which is below in the description box. With all that in mind, let's go ahead and get right on into it. Switching up the decks this month, but we're going to start off with a favorite, the Tea Leaf Fortune cards, and see what situations or energies may be popping up for you for the first half of October. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Cancers for the first half of October? Okay, we got one. Let's take a look at the next half. Spirit, any messages for my Cancers for the first half of October? Yeah, we got a couple. We got two. Actually, we got two more. I'm going to try and keep it down to two just because three takes a little bit long in videos. So let's try again. Spirit, what messages do you have for my cancers? Let's see. We got the perch bird. Okay. Let's take a look. So the first card you got was the crown. Honor and respect will come to you. Okay. We also have the perched bird waiting for news, package, or letter. Okay, well, I feel like these two might be very well tied, but let's go ahead and start clarifying with the steampunk tarot deck um, with this crown. Honor and respect will come to you. Spirit, what messages do you have for my cancers regarding this crown? What messages do you have for my cancers regarding this crown? Okay, we have the hanged man, the eight of cups and the world in reverse. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Let's take a look at your cards. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And at the bottom of the deck, like I said, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So Ace of Pentacles is Earth energy. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, strong Capricorn energy since it is an Ace. We also have uh, Saturn and Capricorn energy here with the world. We have Pisces energy with the Eight of Cups and more Pisces energy with the Hanged Man. Very interesting. For a lot of you guys, I'm seeing that you walked away from something after a lot of consideration. Whatever it was, it was really heavy on your heart and it was a really tough decision for you to make and walk away from it. But I feel like you did it because it was what was best for you. Okay, but I'm also seeing with the world card in reverse, this situation isn't over. You thought it was over when you walked away, but it is not quite over. And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to actually get your roses where you didn't get it before with this Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Very, very interesting. For a lot of you, this may have to do with, um, and we'll look at another deck and see where this may be having for you um, in your houses or your planets. But for a lot of you, this could have to do with work. This could also have to do with family, marriage, relationships, um, but I'm getting strong work energy here, all right? But let's take a look at the Numinous Astro deck and see where this could be happening for you astrologically. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Cancers regarding this crown? What messages do you have for my Cancers regarding this crown? Let's take a look. We have opposition, the aspect of balance. This aspect relates, mirrors, interacts, confronts, makes conscious, manifests, disciplines, conflicts with, tests, objectifies, and calls out. Very interesting. So again, this felt like a very difficult situation for a lot of you. I don't know if this was a difficult um, situation for you to continue to be in, and that's why you finally walked away or left um, in one form or another. Um... Very interesting that this would mirror you in some way, or maybe you were the one that was reflecting the mirror onto the situation and showing people who they were. Very interesting. Whatever it was, there was definitely some conflict here, and that's when you decided to walk. Someone could definitely be coming back around from this situation, kind of revealing, like, hey, we realized we fucked up. 
<laughs> um, is it too little too late though? I just heard that. Is it too little too late? Interesting. Oh, how did I know? Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we had the 10th house of reputation. I knew a lot of this was going to be for your guys' career, but the 10th house rules your career, responsibilities, achievement, competence, fame, notoriety, authority figures, your legacy, your purpose, and your empire. So this is this is pretty big in terms of your career, um, how people perceive you in your industry as well. A lot of you may have feared that your reputation would have been um, tarnished for leaving the way that you did with the feelings that you did and the way that you left the situation. Definitely feel like this was not a great situation for you guys and for a lot of you I feel like it was difficult because either you loved the job but you didn't love the people that you worked with or something like that. Maybe there was like policy changes or something that you didn't agree with. And while you wanted to stay and do the job that you loved, you couldn't stay and stand by whatever it is that people were putting in place there. So very interesting. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the Threads of Fate Oracle. Beautiful deck. And we'll get some advice for you. Spirit, what advice do you have for my cancers regarding this crown? What advice do you have for my cancers regarding this crown? We have love. Are you guys going to be receiving love? Or are you guys going to be shedding some love on people who need it? Interesting. But honor and respect will come to you. I feel like this love is going to be given back to you in some way. It may not be directly from the people that you disagreed with in whatever situation this was for you. But I feel like people very close to the situation who saw what was happening and didn't speak up then or didn't realize that it was messed up then will be coming back and giving you your flowers and saying, we wish we had have seen it sooner. We're sorry we didn't stand by you. You know, we love and support you. At the bottom of the deck, we also have the universe. All right, cool card. I'm going to go ahead and read from the guidebook on this one just because I'm not super familiar with all the cards in this deck yet. So I want to make sure I'm giving you guys an accurate reading and message. All right, the universe. This card asks you to fully trust that there is a plan for you and that you have the support of the unseen. There are forces that play much larger than you can imagine. Surrender to that which you cannot control and trust in the idea that spirit is always orchestrating what is most needed. This card may come at a time when a cycle or trial is also coming to a close. Phrase any what if questions in a positive way. What if this is going to be okay? What if this is exactly as it should be? Sometimes we become paralyzed in the practical world because we are waiting for spirit to show us the way. However, the universe co-creates with us. We must be empowered as humans in this dense reality to show up for what we want and trust that spirit will do the same. If you are someone who is always asking for signs, try to take a break from that. Trust yourself as well and show yourselves love as well for trusting your intuition, for trusting your gut and doing the right thing or doing what was right for you at the time. I feel like a lot of you have some regrets or are, how can I put this? Experiencing a lot of emotions surrounding the situation still. I don't know how long ago this happened for you, but for a lot of you, it's still very emotional. Show, you, so show yourselves some love for doing what you felt was right at the time, for standing up, for, you know, doing the right thing. Um, and trust that the universe has your back. They see what you've done, where you're going, and they understand that... How can I put this? They understand what you're going through and they want to show you that the decisions you've made are you're still on the right path even with those decisions all right so that is what i'm seeing for this crown i'm going to go ahead and clear the table and move on to this next card let's take a look okay so we have the perched bird waiting for news package or letter i'm going to go ahead and just shuffle up the tarot deck here just so we don't get any repeating cards. Or lower the chances of getting repeating cards, I should say. 
All right, Spirit, what message do you have for this perched bird for my Cancers? Okay, we have the Magician reversed, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Emperor. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles again. Amazing. Oh, very interesting that that came back up at the bottom of the deck. For a lot of you guys, you may be getting a new job offer. For those of you that left a job in the previous reading, I do feel like these are very much tied in a lot of ways. For some of you, the honor and respect that's coming to you is through this job offer because I feel like other people around you recognize the situation you were in wasn't necessarily fair or right. And so they're seeing past, you know, whatever things may be going around about you, they may see right through the BS and they're coming through and offering you some sort of opportunity to continue doing what it is that you did in the past. Again, if this is an industry that you love, you just didn't like working with the, a particular company or group of people, um, it feels like an opportunity for you to continue doing what it is that you love. Um, in a much, much better place. Let's take a look here at these cards though. So I just realized I didn't show you guys your cards, so let me go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so we have the Magician Reverse, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Emperor. And then again, we have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, strong Capricorn with the Ace. We have Aries with the Emperor, we have Taurus, Virgo, Cap again with the Knight of Pentacles, and then we have Mercury energy, which could be Gemini and Virgo. I feel like for a lot of you, you are waiting for, again, news package or letter with this Knight of Pentacles. It is pretty slow moving. Knight of Pentacles does not move quickly at all. <laughs> you may have been waiting on this for quite some time, the last couple of months for a lot of you. Coming from the Emperor, which is interesting because the Knight of Pentacles is walking away from the Emperor, so I do feel like the Emperor is somehow involved in sending this to you. So I don't know if this is an institution of some sort, um, if this is a company, if this is a boss, leader, such and such, however that resonates, but it does feel like an authority figure of some kind bringing you this news and it feels like there's really nothing you can do in order to speed it up here with this magician in the reverse it's kind of a you're gonna have to trust the universe and trust in divine timing it's gonna come when it comes not when you want it to even if you're a really strong manifester I don't know if there's anything you can really do to make this move any quicker for you <laughs> it's coming it's definitely coming a new opportunity is coming it's just going to be a little slow so don't be surprised but hopefully by the beginning of October that wait will be over okay especially if you guys have already been waiting for months it can probably show up in October if this is something fairly new for a lot of you guys it's not it's probably not going to show up for a while okay so just be prepared Let's go ahead and take a look at the Numinous Astro deck and see where this could be happening astrologically for you guys. All right, we have the trine, the aspect of flow. This aspect harmonizes, aids, enriches, benefits, energizes, enjoys, eases, gifts, supports, and indulges. So we go from, what was it, the opposition in the last reading to the trine. So a little bit easier energy, more supportive, harmonious, beautiful energy. So you guys are definitely moving out of that place of frustration, difficulty into a much easier energy, which I love to see. At the bottom of the deck, we have the ascendant or the rising sign. Some of you guys may have cancer rising as well as a cancer sun sign. If you're checking your sun, moon, and rising signs, and this is just your rising sign, then this is definitely meant for you. Okay, so the rising sign rules the worldview, mission statement, expression, attitude, outer self, point of view, body image, approach, and first impressions. So I feel like a lot of you may be cancer rising, so this message is definitely for you. 
beautiful message so far. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Threads of Fate Oracle and get some advice for you guys. Spirit, what advice do you have for my cancers regarding this perched bird? Let's do one more shuffle. All right. We have the underworld. Interesting. All right, let's take a look at what this has to say in the guidebook. <laughs> and look at that, we have the universe again at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is definitely not happening on your timing. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this underworld card though and see what this has to say. If the underworld card comes to you, it is either an invitation to go within yourself or it serves as an acknowledgement of where you currently are. If you do not sense you are in the underworld, then this card is asking you to take a pause and allow the things that need to fall away to do so. If you are in the underworld at the moment, it can often feel like it is trial after trial, loss after loss. It may also feel empty and uncomfortable. The underworld is where we die and are reborn. It holds the fire of transformation. So many people resist being in the underworld or try to rush the journey, but this card is asking you to settle into it and surrender. Give yourself permission to be in this in-between space and welcome the changes to the best of your ability. While we are in the underworld, we need to allow ourselves to be there without anticipating the rebirth. We must simply be there. Yeah. So for a lot of us, for a lot of you, I should say, I'm sorry, you guys are definitely feeling like you're in this purgatory state. You're waiting for the new things to come in. You're still dealing with the old things moving out and you just want it to be done. <laughs> you just want to be on to the next thing. But like I said, for a lot of you with that world card in reverse, the old still has to move out. There's still some things that need to be moved out in order for these new things to come in. So definitely be aware of that and be expectant of that and allow yourself to just really kind of soak in and settle into this energy that you're in now, okay? Um, there's definitely some things you need to learn right now. So taking time to pause and just contemplate where you are right now, um, understanding things that you've been through will definitely help you prepare you for the future. So don't feel rushed. Don't feel like you are you know, required to be able to jump and move forward um, like our society tends to push us to do. Sometimes taking a break is actually more beneficial than just jumping right back into the action. So enjoy this time as much as you possibly can. All right, Cancers, that is what I'm seeing for you guys for the first half of October. Please leave a like and a comment if this resonated for you. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I do monthly and mid-monthly readings as well as occasional pick-a-cards. If you'd like to follow me on my other socials like Instagram and TikTok, that information is below in the description box along with my website in case you want to schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a beautiful start to your October, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!